Eddie, back with Avenue United. Pre-season coming to an end. How do you feel it's all going so far? I think it's been good. I mean, it's gone pretty quick. I know we finished the season quite early last season. Uh, start of April, was it? So that. Well, it's been good. Get time off. Get back into the swing of things, you know. Um, no, it's been good. It's been enjoyable, you know. Especially local, you know what I mean? Uh, twice a week training. Games coming in. And then it's just uh, it's coming around really quick. So uh, can't wait for the season to get going. And uh, hopefully it starts three points. Fingers crossed. Obviously, you're back with your local team. You've been here before, picked up quite a bit of experience here at other clubs. But how good is it to be back playing for your local team with no. lots of local players? Yeah, it's good. I mean, um, makes it nicer that you know there's other lads that are local. I mean, when I, my first stint, it was a bit of I think it was a bit of everyone. I lived a bit everywhere. I was only 17 mate, at the time. Um, but no, it's good. I mean, it's good. Obviously, knows here as well. Um, it's a good mate with, so I think it's a, it's a good thing that. Um, but yeah, the, I mean, the lads look bright and sharp. You know, it's a few experienced lads, including myself, even though at 25. But it's a lot of young lads, and they're really good players. Um, so hopefully, start the season, we uh, get going. And you see a lot of the team so far in pre season. Do you think you've got what it takes to be successful in Holland Div 1 this year? It's hard to judge, isn't it? I mean, we've played a bit of a mixture of everyone, but I thought last week was really good. Even it was a poor 4G pitch, but um, no, I thought we'd done really well. Um, it's hard to tell, isn't it? Especially in training, but um, yeah, I think, I think we're looking good. I mean, it's bright as I've seen in pre-season for a while with certain teams. So yeah, it's looking promising. Obviously the gaffer, being a former goalkeeper, a bit unusual for, for a manager to be a former goalkeeper. Um, how useful for you is that? Um, and how much of an influence has he himself been on you signing for the club? Well, that's good. I mean, he first got in touch for uh, pre-season a few weeks before. I can only say good things about him. I mean, I, that was the first time I met him. I met him at the club and he just talked about the club. He lo loves the club. And it's just really good to see someone that actually cares. Um, but no, he's been really good. I mean, it's just easier for me to have someone that understands goalkeeper because I know it's hard to go into a team when there's two goalkeepers or a pretend goalkeeper coach and then uh, they're not knowing what or not understanding your game a bit but no he's been really good you know he gets everyone going I mean it's, I know it's hard enough for him working during the day but you know what I mean he's, he's here Tuesday Thursday he's at the club I think a lot of the time as well sorting it out you know he's done a lot to the ground the stand as well it's all looking really good so I could only praise Beamsy for that and it's I mean top bloke as well